G'day, it's Robbie Regain. Well, I'm working on a project at the moment and had a bit of excess footage, so I put it up separately, and, uh, and here it is. You would have seen this. Uh, I've got a tachometer in here that was from when I did the DC drive conversion years ago. So I left it on there with the AC. And I used to have a temperature gauge in here for the DC motor, uh, which was on all the time. So I keep an eye on the motor temperature and it died. So I had nothing there for ages. Anyway, I got another one just the other day. Well, I don't know, six months ago, and I put it in there, but it was a bit bright, so I only turn it on when I want to, but it's handy, just press the button uh, to check the motor temperature, I'll show you how it works. I've been going for about, I don't know, an hour. The motor's 34, and today's temperature's 14 degrees C, so, yeah, it's, uh, the motor's quite a lot warmer than the air temperature, so you know, it's warming up. The safe operating temperature for an AC motor is, at, well, probably 50, 50 C, so it's got a long way to go, but in summer here it gets, when we've got 40 C days and we get them, uh, it doesn't take long for the motor to warm up, so you want to keep an eye on it, and it's just a little electronic uh, meter and a probe just goes on the back of the motor and uh, you can buy them off eBay for blah, I don't know, $7 or something like that, they're not much at all, but it's handy, you know, say you running around the back and putting your hand on the motor to feel the temperature, you can just press the button and I mean, the other one was on all the time, but this one's a bit bright, I didn't want to get the same sort as I had because it seemed to have, I don't think the voltage control was very good, so this one had a wide voltage range, it went up to 20 volts, uh, down to about you know, five, so if there are any fluctuations in the line from turning the motor on and off and all that, it wouldn't be so likely to damage it, so, uh, but it was a bit bright. The probe is just under the left-hand end of the uh, capacitor cap uh, cover, and it presses down against the side of the, uh, of the uh, engine casing, the motor casing, so it's getting a direct reading off the, off the metal casing. On the DC motor, I, when I had it there, I had a hole drilled into the end cap and it was shoved in there and just held in with a bit of elastic. Works both ways. I did say that the safe temperature on an AC motor is 50C. Well, you can actually go to 65C on them before things start, you know, uh, going bad and, you know, you get meltdown. But once you go over 50, 55C, well, then you risk damaging the insulation on the windings. So... You know, you want to bail out reasonably early. So uh, anyway, make up your own mind what temperature you want to go to, but at least this makes it very easy just to check. Well, there you have it, a simple, non-essential add-on for the lathe. <laughs> but it is handy, and uh, it just makes life easier. So uh, if you've got nothing to do on a rainy day, fit a, a temperature gauge on your lathe. Okay, that's it for me. See you next time. Cheers.